sein. How did you feel Alan did? I thought he did great. I think he's amazing. I love him. So, How did you yeah. meet? Um, on a group holiday. And then when I got there, Alan was there. He started sending me some card tricks. Well, that's all right, isn't it? And there you go. <laughs> 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 and now he's like totally changed my life. Aww. This is what I do. I love it. Cat? <gasps> yes, that's me. The sage is yours. <laughs> Thank you. Before I start, do you mind if I just... No, girl, you take oh. this off. Oh. It's not that kind of act, but it's just a little <laughs> bit... It's just a little bit warm. Yes! Yes! That's be I'm feeling much better now, thanks. <laughs> so, I'm a magician, and I'm going to demonstrate for you a set of skills that have taken me a lifetime to learn. Simon. I'm going to leave that there. I've heard that you like a beer, so feel free to take a swig. David. Hi. Hello. I am going to get you to choose a book. OK. A book. a book. Now, if I said name any book... Oh, oh, come on. Let's be honest, you'd probably just choose your own. I would, And yeah. why wouldn't you? Yeah. Bit of advertising. <laughs> We'd all do it, wouldn't we? <laughs> so, I've got 20 books with me today. OK, so one of those books. They are all different, they are all wrapped, and they're all in a random order. Can you just give me a number between 1 and 20? 7. Number 7. Good choice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, before you open it, if you'd have chosen the one before it, you would have picked one day. Ooh. And if you'd have chosen the one after it, you'd have picked Matt Lucas. He's a funny guy, isn't he? He was always, he was always the funny one. Thank you. Before you open it, using my memory skills, I can tell you that the book that you've chosen is The Lord of the Rings. Can you rip it open and take a look and show everybody? No, it's The Girl on the Train. What? That is a little bit embarrassing. David, I totally deserve this. <laughs> That's good, I'm sure. I love that you buzzed yourself. Alicia, yes. I have got a bag of CDs here. OK. That my mum got me from the market, you know. You know, right. look after the pennies. Mm -hmm. Stuff like the jam, the hosiers, beautiful south. Uh-huh. I'm going to pop them in there. I'm going to give the bag a little shake. I would like you to reach inside, take one out, hold it towards you, don't show me what it is. OK. Perfect. OK, don't show me. OK. Amanda. Yes. My mum's been busy at the market. I've got she DVDs has. this time. I love a bargain. We've got Dexter, The Crown, Gavin and Stacey. Can you just reach inside, take one out, take a look at it, don't show me. I'll avert my eyes. OK. Now, using my mind-reading skills, I want you to think of the CD, I want you to think of the DVD. Are you ready? Oh, I've got it. <laughs> Mr Brightside, Peaky Blinders. Absolutely not. No. Oh. Really? Really. What have, you, what have you chosen? I bet you look good on the dance floor, Arctic Monkeys. And what have you got? I love this one, Killing Eve. Killing it, that is a good love one, isn't Killing it? Killing Eve. But, I mean, I was not even close. No. <laughs> what the you in a Simon, <laughs> there is one puzzle left. I am going to save you the job, don't you worry. That's a bit weird. But I can see why it's not working. There is a piece of paper wedged underneath it. Can you reach round, take it out and take a look at it? Open it. Open it up. It says, look at the screen. Everybody, look at the screen. This is filmed earlier today. This is you guys arriving. Now, if you look at the poster, you all had a completely free choice. The title of the show is The Girl on the Whole Train. The Girl on the Train is what David chose. The tagline is, have a killing evening. Killing Eve, that is what Amanda chose. Yes! And out of all the songs, the song that I am listening to on my phone is The Arctic Monkeys. I bet you look good on the dance floor. Nice. And that, my friends, is a miracle. What? But that's not it. What? Just in case you think I've got a tech whiz backstage that has just knocked that off, which, ridiculous, that didn't happen. That beer has been sitting there the full time. Yeah, I had a sip. Before I brought it out, I had some words engraved onto the glass. 
Can you now pick up the glass and read out loud what it says? Killing Eve, girl on the train, you look good on the dance floor. Thank you. And that, my friend, is a milk bar. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Wow. Yes. Thank you. I feel like I want to That was incredible. Thank you. He was superb. And uh, I like that you're just completely you. It was brilliant from start to finish. Very, very original. Yeah. Thank you. Very enjoyable. Like David said, you're just really normal, really cool girl, so you made the whole thing very relaxed. Yeah, I really hope you go far in the competition. You do. <laughs> it's true. Just the whole thing felt so authentic. I really enjoyed it. Oh, thank you. I thank you did an ace job. It was brilliant. Thanks. <laughs> For me, the end of the magic act is when you're like, what? And that's what you, we all did. Mm. Uh, and that's why, out of the two, you, to me, you were by far the best. <laughs> David? I'm saying yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. It's a yes from me. Thank you. Definite yes from me. Oh, thank you. Uh, Kat, you got four yeses. Yeah! Thank you! Thank you so much! Thank you! Oh, wait, that's She's just a cool girl. She's the sort of girl I'd like to go for a drink with. Well, well done. You both through. Thrilled for you. A great night for the Hudsons. Yeah. You can go and have a beer now. Yeah. yeah. Go on. Let me get that beer back. <laughs> <laughs>